wanted to go over uh, some um, symbolism for all you uh, little sheeple, we the sheeple out there, all you little monkeys who uh, have a right to vote, even though your vote is worthless, and you, but you, uh, you're, you're too stupid to know your vote is worthless, and you're too arrogant to believe that you actually don't matter. It's, it, it's a really bad combination. It's a combination that spells fucking disaster. And it's one of the reasons I want to uh, get the fuck away from all of you sick fucks and, uh, and find a nice little place to live. Because um, there is great potential. The thing could change at any point and go back to like more realistic and a little bit of normality, right? And when I say normality, that does not mean, I don't even know, I don't even want to fucking waste my fucking breath at this point with you people. Um, here's a fact, though. This is the, uh, this, I find this interesting. This is the old school Republican. And notice the three stars, right? And this is the current. Notice the three stars. Now, if you don't, if you notice only the three stars because I just said notice there's three stars, then you are the fucking type of idiot that I don't have anything to do with. And notice the four stars. Why uh, three and why four? Who picked these and then why the stars like that instead of the stars like that? Uh, well, this these stars became that way in uh, 2000, roughly 2000, from what I read, uh, when the Bush administration got in. Okay. And uh, why would you, why the fuck would you do that? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I can have an opinion right but my opinion wouldn't may not be of reality but somebody went out of their way to change it and so i would s assume that there was good reason for somebody to go out of their fucking way to change it okay now here is if you understand numbers and uh, if you are a seeker of the light, then you would know that three represents a specific example, a, a specific entity. Uh, three, the number three represents a specific entity. Here's the number three. As opposed to, and, and eight also represents a specific entity. These are our glyphs, right? There, there's, there's meaning behind them. They could have picked anything, right, to represent what they were trying to fucking represent. The, the specific entity, or uh, better yet, the specific, and then maybe not an, an literally an entity, but a... Uh, but more of an energy because all the cosmos is everything is energy right energy does not die it only transfers into some other form so eight is typically the symbol of infinity and eight would be like you're going around in a fucking round and you could jump on this eight track, right? You could jump on this track and you could fucking put something. And it would go and it would could go on forever. And never, ever fucking stop. Right? It could go faster, it could go slow, it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, and then it also could change directions and still 
go on for fucking ever until something wanted to stop it and then make it good this way now and it could go on forever until something wanted to stop it and then we'll go this way now or we'll go that way now whatever you're just going to continuously that is the eight and eight think of the word did you eat today yes I ate I ate. What happens when you eat? You consume. You would have to continuously consume in a constant consumption for the letter eight. The eight represents almost the same as the three. Except the three is blocked, cut off. So, So the three represents a s distinct energy of power. Right? <clears throat> now I'm just going to throw some shit out there. I'm, all I'm doing is throwing some shit out there and I'm not going to give you like every aspect of, of the thought. Of what I'm not going to put it together. I'm going to be just like the three, and I'm going to stop in different directions and allow you to figure out the fucking rest of the parts all by yourself, like I have done, and I have. I've had to do this all by myself, so I'm throwing out just enough to get you fucking started. So, the three, the. This, the four, the four is a, uh, is a symbol of, of stability. You have four corners. You have four fucking, uh, four legs on a chair, four tires on a car, right? on a quad cycle, and ATV. If you remember, they, they had three-wheelers. Maybe they did. But what they've done to these newer three-wheelers is took the two wheels up to the front and put the one wheel in the back, which causes, which is an element of stability. But the old-school three-wheelers had the fucking one wheel up in front and the two wheels in the back. And if you knew anything about them or heard anything about them, they were pretty fucking dangerous because they had the capacity to, to tip on your ass. <laughs> so now here is a goddess if you know anything then the Hindu Hinduism is one of the oldest Vedic Hinduism is the oldest um, I guess religion on the fucking planet and everything stems from that, even Christianity, Judaism. Well, uh, of course Christianity, because Christianity stems from Judaism. Or I would like to say Hebrewism. I don't know exactly why there's that distinct. Other than the fact that I would say Hebrews. Hebrew, uh, H is like climbing so the hebrews had to climb like a ladder if you put multiple h's on top of each other it forms a ladder and uh and the j is more like a hook like jesus okay and it's the the tenth for the at least for the english alphabet it is the uh tenth yod is the tenth so teth is the ninth and yod is uh is that little so um so yeah so j is the hook like the fish hook like jesus with the fish right the king of the fishes or whatever 
He was supposedly the king of the Jews, and that's why they were like, oh, no, you're not, you fucker. No, you're not the king of the Jews. And so, um, but that is uh, 10. That is, they're, they're both in the position. No, Yod is in the position for the Hebrews. Alf, alphabet. The fucking English alphabet. J. J is the hook. Say 10. Number 10. Say 10. From 0 to 9 is what the, the, what, what the Hindus believed in. So everything starts with 0. Everything, the first, and for, uh, for basic computer, the, for the basic intelligence of a computer, innate intelligence, right out of the fucking box for a computer, it fucking re recognizes zero as the first fucking numeral. And actually, binary is nothing but zeros and ones. Okay? And what is ten? One, a zero and a one, right? Or a one and a zero. And say, say, ten, T-E-N, say ten, because say ten is taking it out of the zero through nine to fucking bump it up a notch. When you're bumping it up a notch, now you're putting your, the, now you're removing out of, you're taking out of God's law. And you're bringing into your invoking your own law, and then you have the eleven. L. L would be the god of the uh, the Hebrews. L, and even eleven, one and one, which is a power number. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm. I I have a tendency to go down into the rabbit hole be, w at one point where I wanted to make this nice and fucking short, right? And uh, so this is Lakshmi, okay? Notice the note, and you just about every every Lakshmi, Lakshmi is the goddess of uh, of benefit, you know? It's the goddess of wealth, the a goddess of power. If you you want Lakshmi to fucking to to love you, so uh, you want everything coming from Lakshmi, right? And her sister is A uh, A uh, Lakshmi, and A uh, uh, means not. So uh, goddess Lakshmi is the goddess of fortune, and A uh, uh, Lakshmi is not the goddess of fortune. So the goddess of Misfortune, right? And she has a she ha she has a dry, shriveled up body, sunken cheeks, thick lips, and beady eyes. And she sits on a donkey. She rides a donkey. A Lakshmi. A Lakshmi. Lakshmi. And, and these are these are fucking polar opposites in both ways but then alakshmi has the four which is a uh, which is a symbol of sh more stability than the three which is a symbol of uh, not not mating up and in this case in the newer model they're uh, they're inverted or you could look at it another way and you and they took it, took it, and tilted it 33 degrees, or maybe it was only 32 degrees. There are 32 to 33 in Masonic with the Masons. So, and I, I don't know, like this, I don't know if any of this is uh, where the facts are in this, and and where, however, I'm just instinctively from my own education. In my opinion, you would never, you would never take these, this original and fucking turn it 32 degrees or 
invert it 180 degrees. Well, 180 would be uh, 9. 1 and 8. Which is 1 plus 8 is 9. Plus 0 is 9. And then here is the uh, the queen of the Democratic Party, right? Now, uh, it was said that uh, when a Lakshmi entered a household, a Lakshmi brought jealousy and malice in her trail. Now, isn't that if what I'm saying is the d demo in Kratik, Okay, now even that word alone, you have demo in it. What does demo mean? Demolish. Demo. Crat. And then you have rat in it, in the word. Right? And it's the Democrats who have, you know, at this time frame, anyways, it's the demo. And, and I wouldn't even blame the demo. However, if if I'm just looking at a broad stroke and I you know you there's complexities here obviously but just broad stroke it is the Democrats the demos crats who are really pushing all of the fucking jealousy the malice and shit and so Alekshmi brought jealousy and malice in in her trail brothers fell at with fell out with each other families and their male lineages faced ruin and destruction and uh yeah the male lineages have in united in uh, the american male lineages are fucking facing ruin and destruction at the hands of the fucking politics period however She's, she's the queen, right? Now, look at this picture, right? They got riding the donkey. This is a picture of a Lakshmi, a Lakshmi. Riding the donkey. Sunken eyes. These are just, one thing uh, I've noticed See how that picture just went and did that? I noticed that. So this one didn't do that. Uh, however, it did do where it was loading. That one was loading. That was loading. A, a snap like that. That's loading. Loading. That didn't do anything. And that did like a flash like it's being recorded somewhere. That's weird. But I've noticed that. I don't know what the difference is. And so, yeah, she is the queen. What happened there? Say that again. Has dry, shriveled up body, sunken cheeks, thick lips, and beady eyes, and that she rides a donkey. Now this this has nothing nothing to do with with Nancy Pelosi, right? I I don't know her personally. I really don't give a shit. I'm just looking at the politics and the facts that this is like this is like out of a movie, kind of weird, weird coincidental weird shit okay now Lakshmi has a has always has elephants with her almost like what the Republican Party however she also on occasion has an owl with her. And if you go to your one dollar bill in the uh, right hand, top right hand corner, 
you would see there's a little owl hanging out right there. So, very interesting. What I have heard is that the Vedic in Hinduism, that you have to go through a Lakshmi before you can get to Lakshmi. So, you're not just granted without work and struggle. All of the graces of what Lakshmi, Mother Lakshmi, will offer, you must first prove yourself. And that's what a Lakshmi is about. And so, in my opinion, this I guess I've already. Yeah. So in my opinion, the uh, the Republican should actually be four, right? And the donkey should be three. However, they they're balancing. They're balancing the energies, and okay? so this is a balancing act of the energies, in which. In which that's the reason they ha it has two fingers. I I don't know this. I don't know this exactly. This is only my thought, and right? this is only the sh bullshit that I can come up with. There's a reason this two fingers. And the reason is this is the Jupiter finger, and this is the Saturn finger. When somebody is giving you the finger, they are giving you the Saturn finger. They're saying, may all hell, may all of Saturn, may all of the, uh, the, the energy that Saturn holds be with you. Fuck you, right? Or go Saturn yourself, is what they could also say, right? And when they're giving you the Jupiter finger, they're taking Jupiter as the highest in command. Is Jupiter is the king of kings, right? And giving you commands, giving you orders with the Jupiter finger. And so the other aspect of that would be the polarities, the, uh, the negative with the Saturn and the positive with Jupiter and that would be my take however I'm a fucking idiot w worthless fucking idiot who uh, who's not even good enough to fucking be employed in shit right and uh, and I and everything that I do and everything I'm about is something that makes everybody fucking cry and not want to be around me because uh, I'm operating in truth and I just don't know how to well, I don't know how to fucking, to keep a, well, I guess, no, I do know how to keep a lock. I can do anything I fucking want, right? I can keep a lock on any goddamn thing I fucking, because I have that capacity. However, I, uh, you know, if, let's put it this way. If I was fucking put in a position, and I already, and I know that I'm going to, I have this position, and I'm going to make money, and all I got to do is keep my mouth shut about something. That's fucking, yeah, no doubt. That's as simple as fucking shit. However, I'm not in any, in any of those positions. So I don't know, like, which way do I go? Which way do I go, right? So I don't know which way to go. So all I know is, fuck it. Uh, just be yourself. Be as honest as fucking possible. And that would be being yourself. So show some fucking courage. Be yourself. Let the fucking chips fall where they may. And uh, I'm pretty certain they're going to fall right into the fucking gutter. But it is what it is.